Hello, my name is Olshas and today we're going to do some software update, but it will be manually done. So that this will be done for Galaxy S6 Edge, as you can see, and it will be done through an official way, which is through Samsung keys and it will be through done through Odin, but we're going to make it on Windows because, well, you can do it on Mac, but there is, um, uh, I, I better, I prefer doing that on Windows. So let's boot it to Windows. Okay. So I'll be using parallel desktops. And yeah, we're using the latest Windows software operating system, which is Windows 10. So anyway, First of all, you have to what you have to do is to install the 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 um, everything needed for Samsung devices. That is Samsung drivers. And um, next thing you need is Odin. And uh, probably the latest one is should be should work okay. So, well. You have to connect the device, of course, and um, let me see. Uh, there is one. Okay, here are some instructions from sammobile.com. And you can see instructions that instruct the firmware file. So you have to download from sammobile.com and then you open Odin. Then reboot phone in download mode, which we're gonna do, and connect phone and wait until you get a blue sign in in Odin. Add the firmware file to APPDA, make sure reportation is not ticked. Click the start button, sit back, and wait a few minutes. Okay, so, well, I'm of course a little bit nervous because, well, I've done it many times before, but you know every time I make so it's of course you're taking some kind of risk so well let's open it with administrator okay so second thing we have to ensure that it's added the device is added but it's not so I'm gonna plug in the cable again okay it was plugged in and still it doesn't show up nothing so okay I made it again really no sign Okay, now it showed up. It should look like this, Galaxy S3 Edge with a device icon, this kind. And then, so, but the main point that we see here added. Okay, so I haven't downloaded the, the file, then extract Odin zip code, open. Now I have to reboot the phone in download mode. So first of all, I need it to turn it off. Okay. So now I will have to to boot it from. Okay. So I booted the phone into download mode. You can see here. So. What we have to do is to connect the phone and add a firmware. So here we have to we have to press the volume up because it will continue. So you can see this, and then then we're searching for our file 
and to a P PDA. So this is a P and sorry. So files and this is the file. This is, that is the full name. It's for Galaxy Six Edge. And then I do open. So that was now it says please wait, so we have to wait a little while. A little bit wait. So one is okay. You can see. Yeah, and we can see the scrolling. It shows that it's searching for something. So, well, it's done. So, we can see the binary size here. You can see this. Add f file added. So, we added what we did. We added the firmware file to APPDA. In this version of Odin, you can see that it's AP. So make sure repartition is not ticked. So in this version, there's no such. Yes, so repartition is not ticked. And what we do now, we do, we click a start button. So. Let's do it. So I think I'll gonna put it here. And you can see that it's make it taking Making a progress, yeah, I'm sorry for my bad English. Well, it's the first time that I make a quite a long review, so <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous, really. And of course, this is still a quite expensive phone for me. So, and we can see changes here in Odin. So progression is still going on. Well, I'm not sure if it will be really useful if I put like this. But I guess I'll focus on both things separately. So we can see downloading is going on. It takes a while. Well, and here we hear, we see here the progress.
so as you can see both progress on the device galaxy s6 edge and here they are moving quite simultaneously well it looks like it's almost finished so oh it's failed Something went wrong. So, you just open the flash file with WinRAR and then you find the file called hidden.image and you, you extract it to desktop or whatever you want and you rename it with tar. Then what you do after what we have previously felt flashing so also you need to if you have windows so you have to untick height extensions for no i'm sorry uh, there is just one thing but height extensions for unknown files so then you have to rename it and what you do next you just put this file here and you click start button you can see the image size is very little and what we see here is that the system is being updated so I'm just a little bit worried if this will be the totally restored system or maybe it will be Android 6.0.0 .0. so we'll see it took me a little bit time maybe half an hour to find out the solution so I guess this solution works perfectly.
Okay, so it's almost finished. <laughs> the last program takes really long. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's probably just finishing the whole system updating. By the way, it's in Lithuanian language, so it, that means that Android system version is being updated and optimization. And now we can see opening programs. We have lots of things doing here, which I cannot read. And it's done, right? It's, it's written done. So... Oh, it put, put up. Oh. Well, yes, it's... <laughs> Let me check. So yes, it's Android point marshmallow. <laughs> Some warning here. Okay, so guys, what we can see here, I'll be doing next um, comparison of free devices. So we'll see. And thank you for watching. And well, I thought I just screwed my bad device, but. Now it seems that everything is working perfectly. So thank you for watching and please subscribe. Bye.